Hello. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to access the WebLogic uh, internal LDAP information. And it is probably necessary for you to at least know how to add users or at least watch this video in order to actually be able to understand um, how we get to where we are at this point in this video. So the first thing that I'd like to go over is how to access some information from the, the security context or um, information. So I have, a, <coughs> excuse me, I have a output text here, a simple JSPX page on uh, ADF config. I haven't pulled anything over, I just created it. And I come over here and I look over in here and there is something in fact missing from here. So let's first of all come over here and create a page definition file. Now normally when you drag things over from the data control, the page definition control file is automatically created. Um, but here you can see that we now have this. We'll close it out. We're not going to really keep it. But now when we come out here and we come over to the expression builder, you can see that there's this new directory here. And you can see that there's some variables and, well, that's way too much information. What we want is a security context. So <clears throat> we want the uh, security context of, is the person authenticated? Okay. Did not change. Come on. Chain developers thinking. And we are not... <laughs> currently authenticated, which kind of makes sense since we haven't logged on. So let's go over here and get some more output text fields and see what we can get from that. So we come over here to the second one, expression builder, um, user enroll. And I think what we need to do here, if I remember correctly, is put brackets in like that and keep it as such. And you can see that it came out false. Why is that? Well, we're not logged in and it doesn't know who we are. And uh, username here, I'm going to get this one. All right, so we've got some of these guys. Let's run this and we'll see how we do when it comes up. And I might add that you can see now that it actually comes to anonymous here. So uh, that's the standard uh, non-authenticated or user who hasn't logged in, just to keep that in mind. Okay, and here we have the page coming up and you can see that everything is basically the same. Well, it's obviously going to be the same and in fact, um, we could add the name anonymous to the LDAP, and then it would start grabbing some of the information. I'm not going to do that because it's kind of a fruitless uh, endeavor. No reason to actually do that. But what we do want to do is actually put some security into this application. And I'm going to very quickly do a uh, application based here. Uh, we're going to do no automatic grants. And when we come to the page, we want to get our view one page, or when we do log in properly. <clears throat> so now we have that, and uh, we still need to configure some things. You can see that in the lower left down here, the error page is done. Let's go over to secure, and I want to do resources. And uh, <clears throat> so here you have some choices here. You can see our view is here and it's granted to nobody. So we're going to do, uh, let's see what we got here. We have authenticated role. We could do that. And so now let's just uh, undeploy that and see if this works. Sometimes you have to fiddle around and make things work. We haven't added any users 
there aren't any enterprise roles. There's the um, authenticated role and the anonymous role, which we saw. Uh, we saw the anonymous user. And it looks like we are undeployed. So let's go run it. OK, I have my username and password already in here. Go figure, because I've already been working on this for a long time now. And this is where you start praying when you press Submit. Um, these are already stored in the um, browser. And look, there we go. Stuart con uh, Security con Context Authenticated equals true in the role of manager. And here is the username. So let's quickly just uh, pop into WebLogic uh, Console here and take a look and make sure that, um, see what my access is. So uh, while we're waiting for that, just to go over quickly, <clears throat> we looked at the view here, and there were a number of built-in, very simple uh, security context roles, values that we can grab to look at data. I haven't really followed through this. I'm not going to at this point, but there's a whole bunch of metadata in here. All right, let's go into our home page, security realm, my realm, users and groups, Stuart.Fleming. You can see, I'm not going to press the password. That causes some trouble. Attributes, you can see all of those. And this is where we got the username. And the groups that I've been granted are manager. OK, so we could change this one to uh, enroll. Let's just change it to staff. And I have not been assigned the staff. Make sure that looks clear. It says false there. So I assume <clears throat> that the, let's do that. The enroll is true if we press F5. needs to refresh it's working and now you can see that that's changed to false so this test has worked let's go over and look at some Java because that is essential to the next steps that we're going to be doing now there are a number of, you know what I'm gonna go over this in the next video um, hope that was helpful um, please see my next video on the Java thank you very much